Meet Norm, the eldest Bernstein brother with a big sense of humor. So 12 months ago, I, in December, I, I had a problem with my foot. But that's not the story we want here. That's right. This story is about the Bernstein family, who moved from Brooklyn to Brooklyn, New York to Brooklyn, Iowa, that is, and then on to Sioux City. We came here in 1940. I was six months old. My parents moved here with my brother Norm and my sister Elaine from Brooklyn, Iowa, believe it or not. I, we, we did it in a couple of trucks. And uh, we hired a couple of people to drive the trucks. And I, I lost my pet goldfish along the move. <laughs> Couldn't take the heat. Norm's younger brother, Jack Bernstein, is now the president of State Steel. Meanwhile, Norm manages Sioux City Compressed Steel, <laughs> the scrap metal side of their business. But before them, the companies were founded and molded by their father, Sam Bernstein. He was a very charitable gentleman who knew that he wanted to give back to the community um, as he gained success here in his business. And that's something that we work uh, pretty hard at today is to give back to our community and being very charitable. And Sam Bernstein was able to quickly gain success with the first of two businesses, Sioux City Compressed Steel. And my dad went into the scrap metal or scrap recycling business, a business that we still are in today. And my brother Norm manages or runs that business, and I'm involved with our steel business known as State Steel Company, which my father started in about 1959. Sam's brother, Harry Bernstein, helped the family relocate from Brooklyn, Iowa to Sioux City, and in the early days of the business was a big part of Norm Bernstein's life until the war. A lot went on in World War II. We, we, we lost people. I lost my uncle. He was the B-17. He got shot. Uh, Army Air Corps at the time. He, he was in, in, the, in the nose of the plane. So, and uh, he got, got shot. Never came back. And even though 80 years in business means a lot of hard work and problem solving, the brothers tell me they wouldn't have it any other way. In fact, Norm walked away from a career in metallurgy research to return to Sioux City and work the family business. And then about that time, I decided to come back to Sioux City and, and pick on Jack. So how did it begin? Somebody suggested that we buy a truckload of steel, which uh, my dad did. And uh, that one truckload eventually turned into several. And eventually we decided to put up a small building and the building eventually got larger and over a matter of 20, 30 years, just all kind of got in its place. But interestingly enough, it was the Bernstein's decision to purchase what few of their competitors had at the time that set them apart. Well, I think the biggest thing we did in one, in one step in the scrap business was we decided to buy what they call a, a, a shredder. Now, now, what do you do with a shredder? I mean, a shredder means that you grind things, uh, you, like a, you go in the kitchen and you start shredding stuff. That, that's kind of what a shredder is, except the shredder we're talking about has 4,000 horsepower to it. Whoops, I think that was supposed to be a secret. <laughs> Between both businesses, the Bernsteins employ roughly 350 to 400 people, selling steel products to the general manufacturing trade. <laughs> Success that would easily have allowed the company to move out of the region. This is a great place for us to be. My dad loved this community, as did my mother. And my brother and I and, uh, have gone on or have uh, continued to manage that business. And our son, David Bern my son, David Bernstein, who is pretty well known around, uh, continues to be the driving force behind State Steel Company. Passing on the legacy of their business from one generation to the next. There's nothing better than working with family members in a successful business. And it's, uh, that's a great way to pass on the legacy of the business, if you will. The, uh, there's a lot of pride involved in starting and running a business and then making sure that it continues. And that's, uh, I'm sure my father would be very proud uh, to see what has been accomplished here since he passed away. I believe that was in 1997. So that's 23 years ago. The brothers have had a hand in several Siouxland changes, like helping tear down one of the old train bridges spanning the Missouri River. It certainly has become a more modern place to be with all of the advantages that take place uh, throughout the country with regard to um, the commercial end of things. We run a lot of very high-tech equipment. 
which uh, we need to do in our very competitive industry. One thing that's never changed is the daily pride both Jack and Norm say they feel from driving their father's company forward into the future. And he always used to get a big kick out of looking around and joyfully, joyfully looking at the successes that he had achieved. And I'm sure he'd be very pleased to see what we've been able to accomplish in the last 20 some odd years. And at 87, Norm is still an active employee at the plants. Yeah, I, I still stuck it out because because now I, I sit in my office and I look out the window and, <laughs> and everything seems to go in place sometimes.